Hi, I'm Dave, and this is Crit Thinking 418. Just wanted to check in today. Um, so, a week, a few days ago, almost a week ago now, I'm not really sure, I made a something called um, Bible, Fable, and Legend, um, that kind of thing. And so, I just wanted to bring up, um, I ended up uh, searching out some things, and I bought... Dan Barker's book, Godless, um, How an Evangelical Preacher Became One of America's Leading Atheists. And so, with thinking about that, um, I, I opened up and just, I didn't want to read all of it, but I wanted to look at the main things that um, he spoke about. So, one of the big things that came up is that there were historians in the... Um, time of Christ that lived and overlapped his life but didn't even mention Jesus at all. So that's a big deal. So the first thing to do in being critical to that is to read what he says. Um, and it ends up being a quote. The, the, the um, supposed historian's name is uh, Philo, um, specifically Philo of Alexandria. It's P-H-I-L-O. Um, and so, in it, um, he quotes John E. Remsburg, um, and it's, the quote basically says that this Philo reported um, on the uh, Jewish people during the time of Christ, and that he also came up with the concept of the Word or the Son of God and all that. And then um, Dan Barker uh, proceeds to explain that you could consider, you might consider Philo the um, investigative reporter of his day, and that it's so odd that the investigative reporter of his day who came up with the idea of the Son of God would completely overlook him. But Here's the thing, um, and this is just an example of why it's important to be critical. Okay, so is he an investigative reporter or a philosopher? The interesting thing is that a philosopher would come up with concepts um, in terms of theology um, and explaining God and concepts of God, um, and that's what Philo did. He did come up with that, and it's that seems to be something that it talks about in the book directly. But then it says he's an investigative reporter. The problem is, can a philosopher be an investigative reporter? And the answer is that one of them needs to take precedent over the other. Because if your philosophy goes against um, what actually is happening historically, or currently in current events, then you have a problem there. Which one are you going to choose over the other? So right off the bat, it's important that if someone doesn't mention Jesus, you have to look at, is there a motive as to why he doesn't? And um, already, without even digging into who Philo is, it looks like there's some conflicting desires in Philo. Um, and the question is, you know, now is that, who is this Philo? So check into it. Um, and uh, always be critical of what people say, whether on the um, Christian side or the atheist side. I've noticed that I'm typically um, being critical of what atheists say. And the reason I believe that is the case is because um, basically atheists are on attack while Christians are defending their position um, and I think that in a very real sense um, atheists are bringing up more and more things that that um, are trying to bring down the Christian faith so with that being said um, it just makes more sense that the, the team so to speak on offense is the one that you need to be critical of the most while Christians are simply defending um, Sometimes their defense arguments are not so good, so we'll 
be critical of those too. Um, so anyway, um, hope that you enjoyed this, and remember, don't quit thinking, start crit thinking.